Hello from Cookbook Divas, this is Carrie, and today we're going to look through the Cultured Club, fabulous fermentation recipes, gut-friendly recipes to supercharge your immune system, by Dirbla Reynolds. I don't know anything about fermentation. This came out in 2018. The publisher is the Countryman Press. Oh good, we follow them on Instagram and you should too. So let's see what's going on. Oh, contents, lots of things going on. Introduction, what is fermentation, the three stages of fermentation, etc. Lots of info, how to get started, what ingredients you need, and then a chapter on sauerkrauts, a chapter on kimchi, one on vegetable ferments, including seeds, tubers, bulbs, flowers, fruits, and leaves. Wow. And it keeps going. Desserts, fermented beverages, now you're talking, and vinegars, and food is medicine. Wow. Well, let's get started. So here at Cookbook Divas, if you're new to the channel, we have not looked through this cookbook until I look through it with you. And I go back and read the introduction later. What is fermentation? Three stages, our bacterial ecosystem, getting started. Yes. All right, sauerkrauts. It's always best to start with the most well-known ferment. I'm pretty sure that although I'd never tasted this fine food or even seen a jar of it, it had filtered into my consciousness. It's not part of my heritage, but its stronghold in certain cultures found its way to my attention from an early age. Sauerkraut, meaning sour cabbage, is a long way from the boiled cabbages traditionally served in Irish cuisine. They're at their best when they're unpasteurized and uncooked. Hmm. So, recipe for classic sauerkraut whole fermented cabbage. No pictures so far, but we know what sauerkraut looks like. And then they show us a picture of the four recipes they just featured. So good. Okay. Then this is Super Hulk Kraut. And now we're already in the kimchi chapter. As Korea's national dish, this ferment really needs its own book, although I'm sure there are a few. So, simple classic kimchi. Daikon radish kimchi. Brussels sprout kimchi. Cucumber kimchi, otherwise known as oisobagi, and a sweet rice paste. And now we're in the vegetable ferments chapter already. A generous portion of our diet should be fresh vegetables, and ideally we should enjoy them raw to experience their full flavor, she writes. Dilly beans, yum. Nasturtium capers, wow, I grow nasturtiums in the summer here. Dilly carrots, two ways. So the photography is pretty, but sparse. Moroccan carrots, carrots with an Indian twist, dilly carrots, pink pickled turnips, ginger, which I'm allergic to, but you are probably not, fermented mashed potatoes, onions, fennel, Korean style pickled garlic, sweet and spicy onion relish, and then I think we're going to be in a new chapter. Nope, cucumber pickles, big picture in the middle, fermented baba ganoush, mushroom pate, this is definitely a different chapter. Wild garlic leaves. I didn't know you could ferment those. That's amazing. Ways to use leftover brine. Very, very helpful. I'm so glad that that's in there. Fruit ferments are very similar to vegetables. Fermenting fruit involves placing your chosen fruit in a jar or other container and adding a combination of water, sugar, and starter culture. The lid's sealed and the fruit's left at room temperature for two to 10 days. But if you leave them too long, you'll end up with a tangy alcoholic compote to top your breakfast with. I'm not complaining. Lacto-fermented grapes, lacto-fermented blueberries, preserved lemons, used in lots of Middle Eastern cooking. This is Indian relish. So not a lot of photos. I'm kind of disappointed. Pineapple and mint relish. That looks gorgeous. A rhubarb salsa. I've never thought of making such a thing. That is so cool. And I have wild rhubarb that grows in my yard. Condiments, dips, and tapenades. I'm going to start skipping through because I can't show you everything. Lacto-fermented ketchup. Kombucha ketchup with a little spice. Happy fermented chili sauce. <laughs> uh, we're in a different chapter now. The kefir chapter. Kefir? Kefir. A chocolate smoothie. A milk kefir. Basic kefir dressing. Honey mustard dressing. A terrible picture of labney cheese, but I love labney. It just looks kind of gross in the process. Sweet healing water. Now we're in the breads and crackers chapter. Here is soaked oats bread. Vegetable bread slices. Uh, gone crackers. 
Soaking, Souring, and Sprouting tips. This book is a lot of reading. Soaked breakfast, something I never would have thought of doing. Porridge, okay. A kefir breakfast, porridge, overnight oats. I do those sometimes. Green porridge with buckwheat, chia, and coconut. This is a healthy cookbook. Rice and miso breakfast. Very Asian style. Buckwheat crispies. Now the soups chapter. I love soups. But what is the point of fermenting with soups? I'm very confused. Okay. Broth is an integral part of traditional cooking and a waste-free kitchen. There's a lot of goodness in the bones. Yep, yep, and broth is one of the foods you simply must make at home. So, chicken broth here, kitchen scraps, vegetable stock, that's what I would be making in my vegetarian home. Super quick Japanese dashi, seaweed stock, or seaweed relish. Quick Asian broth, beet gvass, and sauerkraut summer soup. Okay, and garlic, 52 garlic clove soup. Woo! There's the author. Indian buttermilk soup, that sounds incredible. But I gotta get to another chapter. And this is the fermented fix snacks, starters, and super fast superfood, such as fermented crackers with labney. This is portobello mushrooms with labney and pistachio pesto. Mm. Let's skip ahead a little. There's a lot of things that don't have pictures. Kefir mackerel pate. No, that's a picture of radishes. That can't be the, pa the pate. Here is zucchini wraps with lemon labney cheese, pomegranate seeds, and nasturtium capers. Yum. And buckwheat pancakes. Don't throw out your avocado stones. Really? Wow. Okay. I have been, but wow. The seed is actually the most nutrient-dense part of an avocado and is completely edible. I did not know that. Wow. Here's a gorgeous potato, a sweet potato boats photo with horseradish sour cream and chili kale crisps. Chickpea burgers, croquettes, Vietnamese pancakes with kimchi. Oh, we're in the dessert section. I know you've all been waiting for that. Vanilla kefir ice cream, banana ice cream with salted caramel sauce, vegan coconut lime ice cream, mint chocolate ice cream, my favorite. The Cultured Club's chocolate celebration cake. And I think I will, oh, we're in drinks, beet kvass. Pretty Pink Smoothie, Probiotic Tomato Juice, I love tomato juice, and a Bloody Mary. So that is the Cultured Club, and I just learned a lot about things I would never have thought of pickling or fermenting. Oh my gosh. Check it out. And thank you for watching. You can see more of our cookbook reviews at YouTube or on our blog, cookbookdivas.com. We also have a Cookbook Divas podcast if you'd like to listen to us talk about cookbook news. And we post cookbook photos and news and info to Facebook and Instagram under Cookbook Divas. Please be sure to give us a like and comment something so that the social media algorithms will show you even more of our posts if you enjoy seeing them. <laughs> Thanks for watching.